Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to learn what is the setup and hold time of a latch. Usually, we all talk about the setup and hold time requirement in a flip flop, and we say that if the setup time and hold time of a flip flop is not met, it may go into a metastability state and malfunction. And even I have created a separate video on the setup and hold time requirement of a flip flop, wherein we discussed in depth that why a flip flop requires setup and hold time. I will give the link of that video in the description section. You can go through it. But particularly in this video, we will define the setup time and hold time of a latch. And I will create a separate video wherein we will discuss why a latch requires setup and hold time. Friends, I have created another video wherein we have discussed bistable and metastability nature of a latch. I will give the link of that video also in the description section. You can go through that video also. It is very interesting subject. Now, without wasting much time, let us get started. Firstly, let us see very abstract level definition of a D latch. In this example, I have taken positive level sensitive D latch. This is its symbol. And this is its timing waveform. So we have applied input and clock to the D latch. And let us see what is its expected output. So as per the definition of positive level sensitive latch, whatever input is available at the input of D latch when clock is high will be passed to the output. You see, whatever input is available when clock is high is passed at its output. Now, very important thing when there is a level transition from 1 to 0. This edge is called latching edge of clock because whatever value of input is available at this edge is going to retain at its output irrespective of the input value during this uh, logic low. Similarly, when again clock goes high, whatever input is available will be passed to the latch output and again on the latching edge it is going to retain its previous value. Now let me define the setup and hold time of a latch. I have considered positive level sensitive latch in this case. And we learned the behavior when clock signal is high, whatever value is available on the input will be passed to the output. And when there is a transition on this clock signal from 1 to 0, it is called a latching edge. And whatever value of input is available at this point of time is going to be retained on the output during the time when clock will be zero. But there is some criteria that input must fulfill. That is, it must follow the setup and hold time requirement of a latch. That means this input must be stable for some minimum time before this latching edge, which is called setup time. In the same way, this input must be stable for some minimum time after this latching edge and it is called hold time of a latch. Setup time is, it is a minimum time input need to be stable prior to the latching edge, this time. In the same way hold time, hold time is a minimum time input need to be stable after the latching edge. So that means if this input is stable for this window, it is going to be latched when the clock is zero. Now let us try to see the setup and hold time in a negative level sensitive latch. In a negative level sensitive latch, we know that when clock is zero, whatever value of input is available will be passed to the output. And as there will be transition on clock from zero to one, it will be called latching edge. On the latching edge, whatever value of input will be available is going to be retained on the output during the time when clock will be high. But to do so, the input must fulfill some criteria. That is, it has to fulfill setup and hold time requirement of a latch. That means this input must be stable for some minimum time before this latching edge, which is called setup time. In the same way, this input must be stable after this latching edge for some minimum time and it is called hold time. Friends, we defined setup and hold time in a positive level sensitive latch as well as in the negative level sensitive latch. With this, I am going to close this video and in the next video, we will discuss why a latch requires setup and hold time. 
I hope that this video would be quite informative for all of you. And viewers, one request, those who have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it because in future we are going to create many such videos. And to get the notification of all the videos, don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching.